We need somebody who can unify people and make us feel safe in our own homes, in our own neighborhoods, walking at the walking to Eddie's, walking to the library. People don't feel safe. Well, residents growing frustrated with city leadership as crime has gone up in 79% of Baltimore neighborhoods. Tonight, Fox 45 News is breaking down that data in Federal Hill, Guilford, and Roland Park, beginning with Keith Daniels and the concerns in two of Baltimore's oldest neighborhoods. Keith? Well, Kai and Mary, as you know, crime can happen anywhere, any neighborhood in the city. It doesn't matter the zip code. And tonight, concern in two neighborhoods as we, as we get closer to the primary election day in the city. Ann, who's only using her middle name and doesn't want her face seen, concerned about her safety, is still shaken over what happened and feeling. Feeling completely violated, vulnerable, angry. Her home in the Guilford neighborhood burglarized. She and her husband were out of town, returned home two weeks ago to find someone had broken in help themselves, were inside the home for about two hours, according to surveillance footage, then walked away with stolen goods. Found a suitcase and started putting everything in there. Yeah, so we lost some, uh, a lot of valuables, um, especially jewelry. Valuables that are not replaceable just because they're heirloom pieces, estate pieces, easily $50,000. And in Roland Park, just a few blocks from Ann's home. We need somebody who can unify people and make us feel safe in our own homes, in our own neighborhoods. Bob Path, a longtime yeah. Roland Park resident, concerned now about what he calls a crime crisis in his neighborhood. I have never seen the city, let alone Roland Park, like this. People are afraid. I talk to my friends all the time. You talk to store owners, the violence, the carjackings, uh, the murder. We had a murder down on University Parkway. Two residents, two neighborhoods, both areas considered among the safest in the city. Still concern over crime. According to a recent Baltimore Police Uniform Crime Report, which compares crime numbers to the previous year, Crime was up as much as 79% in some city neighborhoods. In Guilford, for example, burglary up 75% with eight in 2022, 14 in 2023, with 36 over the last 365 days, 24 burglaries so far this year. In Roland Park, burglaries up 13% from 2022 to 2023, 13 over the last 365 days. And Guilford, one of the latest victims, Anne, who believes city leaders should be held accountable. Bottom line is, is getting someone in, in office that will make the changes necessary for us all to live a good quality of life. Who might that be, in your opinion? I originally I wanted Thiru. Um, Thiru, um, unfortunately, has dropped out, but I think his support will, with, for Sheila Dixon will be the right person that we need. Well, the woman in Guilford said that burglary, burglary was caught on surveillance footage. Police are investigating. Perhaps that footage will help in an arrest, but so far tonight, no word of an arrest. We're live tonight, Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News. I'm Mary Bubala, thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.